Hello everybody. I'm Dr. Lavanya. I'm a senior consultant in Cloud9 Hospitals. I'm a fertility specialist. I also practice obstetrics, gynecology and minimal invasive surgery. Ovarian reserve testing. There are two ways to check the ovarian reserve testing. One is the history per se. That means what is your age is very important because age is one of the primary methods to know how would your reserve be. With the increasing age, we all know that the ovarian reserve comes down. So that also means all our women come with a fixed number of oocytes where only 400 oocytes will be released throughout from menarche to menopause. That means from the beginning of the menstruation to the end of the menstruation. Of these 400 oocytes, imagine over, I would say roughly if you take around 10 to 12 years of menarche and a 45 or 50 years of menopause, that's nearly 40 years and only 400 oocytes are getting released. So with the increasing age, the ovarian reserve comes down and that itself is one of the biggest histories where if the age is more, that means your ovarian reserve could be much lesser. The other ways of detecting ovarian reserve coming down is the antiviral follicle count. That means we can keep doing a scan, see how many follicles are there in the ovaries. If they are much lesser like 2 or 3 and then we call this the poor ovarian reserve where the antiviral follicles are much lesser. Another important hormone called AMH that is the anti-mullerian hormones can be assessed. If it is lower that indirectly tells me that your quality of the oocytes could be much lesser, your reserve of the oocytes could be lesser. These are all the fertility tests or the ovarian reserve tests that we do, which will help us to counsel you on your success rate of fertility.